decided to also play this game called The Outer Worlds. One of my students uh, told me about it. It's pretty much like Fallout New Vegas, but also Mass Effect. I've played through like um, a planner or so. I genuinely enjoy this game. Like I love being able to make choices and pretty much decide what's going on. So I'm going to play this and also Borderlands. Uh, if you're paying attention to what I have on, I have currently have on a Ravens jersey. I'm a Ravens fan. I'm from Baltimore. I have on Justin Tucker, number nine, because he always comes in clutch. So, I mean, I obviously have his jersey. I'm going to eventually get a Lamar Jackson jersey. I currently have two Ravens jerseys. This jersey and a number of Shad Perriman jersey when he played for the Ravens because he was originally a UCF player when I was in college and he was drafted to the Ravens. He no longer plays for the Ravens, but it's okay. I still have his jersey anyway. I'm orange right now, which means I'm playing in the dark. But let's get started. Um, we're going to play on normal mode. All this is fine. These load screens are, oh wow, that's terrible. These load screens are just as long as Borderlands, by the way. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Okay, so I've already decided that I want my character to... Um, be super intelligent like I'm talking about very high like more crit damage more perception like eh. oh wait I need my strength to be normal hold on <laughs> um like yeah like I need this to be high like I don't like like I don't know like it needs to be Something good. So this is handguns, dodge, sneak, lockpick. Slippery fingers. You'll need to be no. careful handling those chemicals. So I think I'll be average, average, very high, and good, good for all these things. I'm not gonna change these because I don't want to take the drop from it. But definitely, the way I am as a person, like I need my character to not only be. S like, I feel like me as a person, like, I'm very smart and I can do my best to talk my way out of situations when necessary. And so I feel like my character needs to also reflect that because that's who I am personally. So, like, I my strength is average. My dexterity is average. I've never broken a bone. I'm highly intelligent. I have a master's degree for crying out loud. Perception, also pretty high. I'm pretty charming and my temperament is average. So we're going to go with that. Um, points available. I'm going to put them into dialogue. If we're ever I'm going to put one into dialogue. Do the talking. And I'll put one into tech. Uh, a fellow tinkerer. 
Because, like, I like to do things with my hands. Stealth, I'm not too particular with. Melee, right? Or maybe I'll take one out of tech and put it into the ranged. Because it'll give me a jump. Oh, they're going to tell stories about you from here to Hephaestus. Yeah, so a gunslinging, handgun using fucking maniac. And then from here, this is aptitude. So, like, this doesn't really affect the game, but it does give you extra bonuses. So, like, if you can see, like, the sub sous chef plus one for one handed melee. Um, so if I'm looking at this, um, hmm. I'm thinking persuade plus one because I like persuasion, so I'll be a cashier, subgrade, non supervisory. Gender, so I'm a girl, obviously. Um, head, um, character customization for me is the worst part because I suck at it. I look about this color with the orange right now. So there's that. I never. I never, all the browns look the same. Like, I don't know what the difference is, like, I guess this one, like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> okay, what face looks like mine? Like, my face is right here, but somehow I'm still gonna fuck it up. I'm gonna look at myself, though, in the thing. I kind of have, ch oh, that's not it. I kind of have chunky cheeks and, like, an average nose. My lips aren't that plump. This is like a man. Eh, that's not it either. Eight might be it for now. Eight or five. Not nah, five. But definitely not four. And eh, not two. We'll go with eight. Like, I... That's not my face, though. Like, I have, like, a round face, if we're being honest. Um... When I make characters, I never want them to have the same color eyes as I do. So I usually go with my favorite color, which is blue. It's jarring. Don't really care about the brows. Don't care about the eye size. Like, I'm not this particular when it comes to hair. This haircut is, eh, we call I call this haircut the fuckboy cut, kind of, without it being the fuckboy cut. They do have locks in this game. Ooh, a little side cut. Oh, that's definitely the fuckboy cut. I'm not doing it to her, though. I would do locks, but that's ugly as fuck. Although, if you look at my hair right now, it's kind of similar. Oh, this is not it. I don't, I don't know. Like, I want her to look decent. Okay, first of all, hair color. Let's find blue hair, because I currently have blue hair. So we definitely have to go with blue hair. All of these don't look... I think the blue is back here, if we're being serious. Is, that, is this blue? This is blue. Okay, we don't want to give her a receding hairline. We don't want to give her a mohawk. Honestly, I might give her... Oh, one of my students has this haircut. Kind of, except he has a better hairline. Honestly, we might do the like the curly-like thing. Because why not? Because it's not going to match my actual eyebrows. Or my hair. Okay, my eyebrows are kind of thick in the front. And then in the back. They have that as an option here. Because, you know, you got to get the eyebrows right. If I'm going to get anything right, it's the eyebrows. Cause you know, you know, you gotta have, you gotta have the eyebrows. Let's start over. Hold on, hold on. I don't know. None of these. I mean, this is probably the closest I'm gonna get, if we're being honest. Okay, we're gonna go with six. Don't have facial hair, so I'm not gonna go with that. Makeup. I don't need makeup. I always put a scar on my character, like even in like Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm making scar over the eye. I'm not old. Now that I'm looking at my character, she's not this light skin. Yeah, I'm about this complexion. I don't like her face anymore, though. Oof. I'm thinking we're going to go with three. My lips aren't that small, though. It's fine. It's It, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Next, what's your name? We're going to go with my name for all of my... So not social not social media, it's like all of my consoles. 
Kaleo. Next. Next. Start game with this character. Sure. Looks nothing like me, but here we are. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Oh, not a bootlicker. Initiate skip jump. Oh, okay. Why well, fuck that up? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on, y'all. You done got us fucked up, Phineas. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. Okay, so uh, I've seen this before, but we're dropping into space, and then some unfortunate things happen, like a cutscene. Chairman Rockwell raises a glass to our lost brothers and sisters. Oh, me! I'm the lost brother and sister. 60th anniversary of the Hope's disappearance. Okay, so if I find Sir Chairman Rockwell, will that be okay? I don't remember. I haven't seen this lock lock screen i haven't seen this load screen yet if we're being honest so can you hear me yeah Is this thing working? sure phineas ah, phineas and ferb oh yes the smuggler his name is hawthorne and he should be waiting for you at the landing site beautiful he's to be your uh, chauffeur so to speak and not to worry i'm told he's a specialist dashing gunslinger one of a kind ship that sort of thing you like him I'm sure. Well, I I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm all of the colonists are counting on you. How did he survive? That's what I need to know. How did he make it 70 years? Or 60. Sorry. Okay, we've landed. How do they know, how does my character know how to get out of the ship? Well, she did press like every button, so that makes sense. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Damn. That nigga dead. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure it's... I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. 
shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty it's funny because, like, I obviously know what happens because I've played through this part so far, but I wasn't really paying attention because I knew I wanted to record this game. Although one of my students said me told me not to. They were like, Miss, don't don't play it, like it's boring. But I learned that he said that because he doesn't like games like this. I personally like games in which I can like make decisions oh fuck. In which I can like make decisions, do things etc so i'm i'm just chilling like i like shit like this like this making decisions in games is my favorite thing like i think of games jesus okay like games in which there are like evil factions wow i'm not gonna waste that i'm just like damn like why can't I choose to be evil? Like in Pokemon, like I want to be in Team Rocket. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Pretty boy. Oh, wow, hey, I'll patch you up. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Okay, but I saved your life. Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. Same. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. But you couldn't? Then my gun misfired. Mm. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? How the, f how the hell? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Mm. Hmm. Um... Spacer's choice policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Unless I'm dead, I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the left. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Persuade, I'll persuade him. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo, not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. Oh, great. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Mm hmm. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Cool. Okay, so, um, we talked to this guy, we got his weapon. Um,. Weapon management. We're gonna equip this. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I I I pressed X and I think I. What? Did I like, fucking drop the weapon? Like, what the fuck? I fucking dropped the weapon. Okay, well. I feel like an idiot. I legit dropped the saber. Okay, well. Nick! Boy! Okay, tactical time dilation due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation. Your brain processes time differently. Same. 
Pressing the tactical time dilation TTD button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly while moving and attacks. While moving and attacks during it faster, the TTD meter refreshes slowly after time. Press RB, the right bumper. There's a, there's a guy over here. Shit. Ooh, shit, wrong button. Fuck, fuck me. Seriously? That was a waste. Okay, well, fuck that up. I'm really mad about the saber thing. Like, I don't know. I, I, I would have. I would fucking drop the saber. Ridiculous. That's why we can't have nice things. Corpse and can hold items. You can take. You can take one or take them all. Your D pass, which is between items. Good to know. Cool. What's in here? Hacking and picking lasers. Hacking and lockpick skills have begun to places you're not meant to be. Magpits are used to break open locks and bypass hunts are used to break computers. If your skill is high enough to build security, you will see how many magpits or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. Cool. I can't, don't have enough, oh wait. Do I have enough shunts now? I'm one mag pick away from being able to open the thing, which is unfortunate to say the least. I guess sometimes you're without items, so here we are. We're going to keep it moving, like whatever. Um, when I played this a while back, it was... It was a. Uh, it was definitely an experience. Because I was struggling. Dude. It was definitely an experience because I hadn't played Boardlands in a hot minute. So my aiming was, like, way off. Like, I'm talking off. No mag picks, but it might be a better weapon. There was a third guy, I thought. No? There's no third guy? I thought... I really want that last mag pick to open that thing. Like, I'm I'm really bothered that I threw out that saber. Not that I'll use it. Like, I don't really use melee weapons often. But, like, it's good to have one, I'm assuming. Like, just in case, like, a homeboy gets close. You could be like, Who the fuck are you? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Mm -hmm. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. Oh. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. This landing violation, let it go. So I heard if I wanted to hold up in the cave, I'm ready to... Really? How is he? I healed them. Shouldn't have done that. Space's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Space's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Winks? But you, uh, do space your choice guards break down from a back down from my challenge? I bet you could get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Guess I'll have to give you zero. Well, sometimes management's real good at cost benefit analysis. But seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off. Find whoever owns that ship and file a full report. Thank yeah. Laminated. Here we go. Great. Kill them all. I'ma stay over here. Oh. 
Is that it? Just two of them? Y'all were scared of two marauders? <coughs> Excuse me. That's it? Only two? Y'all have some lames. Oh, I'm just kidding. Three? And then the Canaan? Well, that was simple. Like, there should be no reason why y'all uh, couldn't do the thing, but it's fine. I'm gonna go in here, talk to. I mean. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Thanks, Ada. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Cool. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Then why don't you Please explode the ship? Misappropriated equipment. And exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Ooh, immediate? I'm not here. What are you going to do? Self destruct? Am I here to misappropriate anything? I don't appreciate being talked to that way. Jetson procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. She's bluffing. Is something supposed to be happening? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Great. I need the ship in the air. Capable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex. I am him. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I get it, you need to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly, okay, but I'm not <laughs> sure. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High-capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Sure. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Look, sometimes you gotta fake it till you fucking make it. Period. Skill and improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill, melee, improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to your specialized skill up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows with special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read your skill description to see what they are. Armor consumables and size effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks and the skills passive bonuses and the skills passive bonuses but won't give or take away the skill unlocks. Work diligently and improve yourself and you too can achieve middle management. Hold A to continue. Okay. Congratulations! You have gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character letter to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Excuse me. Keep leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time. I'm pressing the button to view the ledger, but I won't let me do anything. So, I definitely want my dialogue to be up. So we're going to do a uh, half five, and then we're going to do a three two method. What does this defense do? Improve it, avoid damage. We'll do one and one for now. I should probably take my hack up too, but we're here. 
You have unlocked location hit effects for tactical time dilation, hitting enemies in different locations or TGD, maims or cripples those body parts. Try different locations with different effects. Hits to the chest produce different effects when you use different weapons. Good to know. Combat dialogue abilities. You have unlocked a dialogue combat skill when attacking the correct type of target. They are automatically debilitated. Cool. And we got some perks. Oh. So I think perks. Welcome to perk selection. On this screen, you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk point to spend every two level, every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay. Purchase by accepting a flaw. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. Auntie Cleo wants me to do my best. We got health, TTD, damage, walk speed, sprint, weapon loss, decrease. More ammo from vendors, carrying capacity, uh, increased recharge weight, fast travel when unencumbered, companion kills, huh, vendor prices. I'm going to take up health, for obviously, because I'll be struggling. Cool, so we're going to leave Ada here. We're going to leave out of the thing. Hold X to open, because that's what they want us to do. Oh. You got me? Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Bitch, what if it was? You walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Ooh! I'm a... I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Right. Fucking talk to my manager, you hoe. Like, how dare she? Come in for me like I didn't did something. Like, I'm, I'm over here chilling. Like, do I look like Alex Hawthorne? I mean, as far as everyone else is concerned, I am Alex Hawthorne, but, you know, we're just gonna pretend. Oh. I'm gonna shoot you in the head. You ready for this? Can I maim you? Cool. Simple. Oh, it was a resident? Damn, that's tough. Sometimes residents get killed. Wrong place, wrong time, bro. No one told you to be in my face. If you just stayed in your house, this wouldn't have happened to you. I'm just saying, but... Sometimes you just take that L. Okay, so... We're gonna go this way. We're gonna talk to this guy right here. I'm minding my business. That's marauder territory, I'm not scared of no fucking marauders. You pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise through the cranium? Yes. It ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Mm hmm. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Mm -hmm. Dave Silas, junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Hold on, I talked to a power regulator. Make some money. Falling to pieces. Grave digger. How do I get a power I'm regulator? A junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Mm -hmm. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Depends on the work. You offer me a job, do what I want. <laughs> you offer me a job. Water is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Same. Click what's owed to you. Pay for their grades. Collect them yourself. 
quarters, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know. Facts. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Twist his arm. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Fair. Conrad's got a barber shop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy. I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Okay. Yeah. I actually didn't want to ask him anything. But I might as well. A colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again. I'm one of them. Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing as far as rumors go. Is there a reason you're asking? I'm, I'm them. All right, easy now. No need to get your hackles up. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero-G brew. I'm not brew. crazy. Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but you need to stop, or there's going to be trouble. Trouble's in the asking. Boy, don't much care for folk running their mouths, spreading hoaxes and the like. Frankly, neither do I. Ooh. Something I can do for you? Hmm. Yeah? Um... Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Mm hmm. Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. Then do better, Silas. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, Excuse me. One, uh, all my life. Work's mm -hmm. been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Same. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Sure. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Mm-hmm. Sounds like the flu to me, but what do I know? Okay, so we're going to follow this quest tracker. I really hope to God that it doesn't do a load screen, but it probably will. Great Emerald Veil. Raising your dialogue skills is good for conversation. It also unlocks combat dialogue abilities that distract and disable your enemies. I love distraction. Less work for me. Armor reduces damage from every attack. This makes heavy armor very effective against fast attacking and light damage weapons. What? Raising your medical skill unlocks consumable slots for your emergency med medicinal inhaler and decreases the duration of inhaled consumables. Cool. If you'd like to try different choices for skills and perks, try out the respecification machine on your ship. Excuse me. Much water is discovered. I can't go in here. Oh, barber shop. That's where he said what his face was, right? Conrad, Connor. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling. Bitch, your hands covered with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Sure. I can show you my hands. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. Great. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. Sounds like racism. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Cool. Um, 
A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. Mm -hmm. Vicar Maximilian, our man from the OSI, here to spread the message of scientism. Scientism? Bomb upon a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. I don't trust it. You'll find him in our local church, probably neglecting his duties. Same. He doesn't seem to like us much. The vicar has not been with us long, and in his relatively short tenure in Edgewater, gives off the distinct whiff of superiority. Same. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. Boy, you better speak in playman's terms. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. Why are you destitute? I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Fair. Mm, I don't care. Pay up. You have a very loose definition of the word prosperity. You should audition. <laughs> Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Mm -hmm. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the so the of flu. The law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Wow. Not a bad idea, but I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Much obliged. Okay, um... We're gonna go in here, close this door, steal all of his shit. Because I'm a thief. Conrad, a receptionist shot himself. This is bad. Company is going to have to call it for what it is. Destruction of space resource property. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay his body price. This is going to ruin us. So I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed on his family or something. You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry for the out. We'll sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet. Use the best to pay his body price. Nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Waggle your eyebrows, Phyllis. I mean... Look, man, you gotta do what you gotta do, like... I ain't gonna get mad at your hustle, like... You... <laughs> you gotta survive somehow. What can I do for you? I know about Eugene when I use his collateral for graphite fees. You sound like you have some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Ooh. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Yes. Only we use term Dr. Lucy, so you were request for a bird, a pretty specific job description. I'm guessing we're trained at medical school. Middle. You may think that, but the tidiness of my fellow worker is my responsibility. Alive or otherwise. Cool. Whether you're showing up to work or going to that great cannery in the sky, it's my job to make you look like a million bits. Mm-hmm. I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth as collateral for your gravesite you know fees? How? I found a note from Phyllis. I'm a mind reader. I found a note. Then you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it. Nigga, don't be mad at me. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. Mm-hmm. More than a few. 
Those teeth were his personal savings. That's it. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Of course you can. <laughs> You're going to have to after comes from the biker later. Obviously. Peter Maximilian and I have never quite seen eye to eye, but your point is well taken. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Beautiful. Bye, bitch. Re out this hoe. Okay. Um, the next person is in here, if my memory serves me correctly. This crazy motherfucker. I'm fine, Miss Thompson. Never been healthier. That ain't even me. Well, uh, did, uh, sure. Mr. Thompson send you? Of course. Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Take it easy. He didn't send me. You want me to tell you what's got you so nervous? Some sort of wandering alien? Yes. Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state. Facts. You don't know that. I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said beg. You know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. No. Wait, no. Oh, damn it. Okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the mend. Please, don't tell the constable. I'm a snitch. And become the town pariah? I'm already the oldest worker in town. I don't need to give them another reason to avoid me. Hey, you're hale and healthy and possibly for hire, ain't ya? Uh, do a good turn for an expiring old man? Sure, what you want. <laughs> it depends. A couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. Mm -hmm. There's a cache of ant bracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break it, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Mm -hmm. I'll do what I can. What you got? What is it? Why can't you get it yourself? I'm medicating myself with Adrena time didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. I can guess. In other words, the company won't treat you because you're already sick. That's horrible. Come on, Abernathy, don't look at Darer. Ninety. More like the company won't treat me. Sounds like treat. modern day insurance. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders. Marauders, yeah. guards, same fucking thing. I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. Mm. So you'll do it then? Sure, why not? You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Don't fucking rush me. I know that, but I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but he never did find my courage. Silas knows, doesn't he? I'm also That's here for he your said. fucking gravesite fees. He wants me to pay up. He knows. Look, I got my gravesite fees right here. See? I'm good for my word. Get me that medicine. And I'll see your payment. Beautiful. Out the door I go to read. Making a mistake working for Abernathy. But what? Who are you? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. And what if I am? Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. For how much? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh, 
He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what Bitch, I don't care. What the fuck you need the medicine for? All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Hmm. I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. Hmm. I think That's about all it. I can ask of you. No promises. But he got to me first. So, like, I don't know. I kind of want to just give him the medicine. In my last playthrough, I gave her the medicine. Nothing particularly wild happened. So, like, I'm not going to... Vending machines... So I'm not going to do anything extra, because, like, you know? Like, she didn't really give me anything out of the ordinary. I'm going to just steal this shit. Shh. We need to steal shit, Roy. Nothing was stolen. We're just... We're just going on an adventure, you know? It's like, um, Paw Patrol. Not Paw Patrol. The little line signs? We're going on a trip to my favorite rocket ship. Except this rocket ship is just stealing shit from people. You know? We're not zooming through the skies. We're zooming through the town. And stealing all their belongings. Because we can. Okay. Elevator. Ooh, elevator music. Cute. I actually hate elevator music. It's fucking dumb. I need to explain this with less of the... Grease monkey? Seems we've got a guest. Yep, you sure do. I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Fuck you. I'm Reed Thompson. Outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I don't believe in uniform. I don't know what our choice. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Mm-hmm. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Mm hmm Do tell. Let's hear it. Frying myself? Let me guess. You want me to do something for you for you help me. Facts. My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. Okay, what you got? There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so mostly all power is being squandered. Squandered down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along mm, on your way. Simple enough. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? That's a lot of that's a stranger time with the ge oh we mean mostly abandoned. I'm not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Mm-hmm. What I need to do was a prize of one of guests. Not only these people would take kindly, losing their power. Marauders. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. Mm-hmm. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Come home. Tell me what I need to do. Why? If you want me to solve a desert problem, I charge by the head. <laughs> yes, I charge by the head. Good law, no. I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Mm -hmm. All right, Rita, see what I can do to help you. How I recognize Adelaide? I can't make any promises. What can I do? My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. 
I could come in useful. Sure. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful. Sure, bring her along. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Companions. You've gained a companion? They are characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity, and you can unlock special campaign and combat abilities with the ins inspiration skill. Why not? So if you may require a companion other quest for the assist you, you can check your quest log for dependencies. Don't have his key. Hmm. Nothing else here. Are you coming with me? Let's talk to her we real quick. Clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Oh, okay, that's fair. Come on. All right, what she want to know once we get down here? Because we're out of the office, kind of. Damn, how many floors is this shit? What she want? We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office. Bitch, you're doing too much. Sorry. Occasionally, companions may have something on their mind. When you see a thought bubble above their head, try talking to them. They may have something interesting to say. Okay. Sorry. I. You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along. Like sure, extra manpower. Is, Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Mm hmm. This is about the deserters. What's the other side? Figures, reason, exactly strike me as the most honest soul. What does this seem pretty straightforward to me? I want to do with Neos. I want to be as heavily armored. Okay. What's the most oh, honest? He ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just. Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Mm hmm. Now, I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This sounds like an issue. How was well, you know the deserters? You work with them, you were friends, or what? You know, as Adelaide Reed mentioned, I'm sure the deserters were fine people, so what? How well would you know them? I don't know anybody well. I mostly listen to them talk, kept my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. The town's got issues. Did you know this allied person? Miss McDevitt. Oh, oh McDevitt. Gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Flavor. Food tastes decent. Food tastes decent. She used to work up in the big office. So she Thompson. black or? All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Mm hmm. Like I need more. Can't say as I know. I wasn't there. The sound carrier. Bitch! If you ain't got a if cup Mr. to Thompson the door. To tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt if you can get out to her. Mm hmm. Okay. What about them? Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no light to see, no heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. Mm -hmm. It just... It don't seem right to me, ma'am. It don't seem right I to me either. To the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Max. Uh, I suppose it's gonna hurt. We'll stop by. What do we need to talk to the vicar about? Flipping a switch in your apartment mill. Where would I find him? Second about one. what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Kin. And maybe mm -hmm. he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. Mm hmm. We'll stop by. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. Facts. That's what my dad used to say, anyways. Oh. What about 
And about your dad. Okay, we're route this hoe, I guess. Um, there's something over here. This is a Vicar Max. Let's go to Vicar, the Vicar Max. Uh, I'm guessing he's like a Catholic priest. I've always felt weird in here. It's too. Yeah, this kind of sterile. All right, sir. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Ooh! Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. So rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's toss ball predictions. The quickest way out of town. What's the quickest way out of town? Before I wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do, how did you know I'm an outsider? What sort of spiritual advice you offer here? I just thought something else I need to be doing now. Not to put too fine a point on it, but your choice of wardrobe is not precisely common here. Don't come for me. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy, like a trapped animal. Oh. Pretty universal here. Except for Miss Holcomb, who for some reason doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? Because you're fucking creepy. There's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. She's just nervous, bro. Maybe it's because you're so dismissive. Quite inappropriate for a viker, isn't it? I'm a bit surprised to hear you dismiss your parishioners so casually. Let's get back on track. Second one. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Mm. Hmm. Isn't your job to raise that? It's got to be tough. It's like you're terrible at your job. <laughs> we'll go with a nicer option of this one and go with, isn't it your job to raise that? Yes. But there are few who hear me in this miserable place. That's fair. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. Are they, though? Hold on a minute. Did you just refer to this town as a miserable place? Yes. And thank you for pointing it out. It is wrong of me to succumb to distress. This place could be so much more. And I will continue in my quest to make it so. I feel that. Okay, before I want to talk to you about what Reed asks us to do, what sort of spiritual advice do you offer here? I'm curious. They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. Mm-mm. And I was actually asking what your religion is all about. Seriously, that's what you're selling here. Selling? No. It is free. Is it for free all though? It. I'm sorry you don't find these tried and true words of wisdom to your liking. I'm not asking what your religion is all about. All you've got are platitudes about enjoying your work. Have you looked around here lately? It would be nice. The OSI teaches that what the, the fuck is the OSI? A perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. Okay, makes sense. What does OSI stand for? Thank you. The order of Scientific Inquiry, also known as Scientism to the layperson. So Scientology. Okay, how do you talk to this grand architect, prayer, meditation, or what? OSI, Scientism, not very religious sounding. You sure you didn't just make this all up? Same. Mock me all you want. I know my beliefs to be Oh. Cool. We got some theory of knowledge up in this hoe. How do you talk to the Grand Architect? Prayer, meditation, or what? You don't talk to the Grand Architect. Once the universe was set in motion, it stepped back. Mm. It has no concern for us. I feel that. Okay. That doesn't sound like a very motivational religious prof but philosophy. Sorry. What's there to aspire to? So what's your part in all this besides counseling people? Pretty weak religion you got there. Follow a preordained plan. Sounds like a lot of fun. We go with the first one. We will eventually decode the plan and all its intricacies. Mm. Once we mm. are able to deduce the properties of every particle in the universe and its trajectory, we will know everything. Fair. The future, the past, each person's place within the plan, all will be laid out before us, removing struggle and bringing peace. No one will ever need question their path again. I dig that. 
Some even believe this ultimate knowledge will unlock mankind's true potential, and we will all become akin to grand architects ourselves, after a fashion. That seems unlikely. Really? How does that work? Tell me more. Same. Tell me more. Well, first there's the matter of the secret blood rites and animal sacrifices. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, okay. Seriously, though. To truly understand the metaphysics involved takes years of study and contemplation. Provari wanted to talk to you. Okay, I guess we'll keep what? going. I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What does Mr. Thompson ask you to do? Steal power. Fix a geothermal plant, cut off the power. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. Facts. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. So what do you advise? What do you think of his group? Right, great. Can we wrap this up? What do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the full. Fair. Is that even possible? Just talk her about they coming together. Keep that in mind. Sounds like I've got work out cut out for me. Thank you for your time. Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Cool. And why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. A handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. Why would a Viker be after a banned heretical book? I assume you want to burn it once you get your hands on it. Um, okay. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue collar with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Hmm. I look for your book. Why would a Viker be after a banned heretical book? I assume you want to burn it once you get your hands on it. I'll need to know a little bit more about this book. I don't really care. Why do you want the book? <laughs> I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. You're making compelling arguments. It seems to me the authorities would be interested to hear you after this contraband text. I need to know a little bit more about this book. Yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> Glad we see eye to eye. I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Cool. I mean, we'll get his book because, like, I don't really give a fuck about the other shit, to be honest. It's just kind of there. And what is this? Botanical Lab is this way? Cool. Let's go this way then, I guess. Emerald Vale region. The only source of protein a busy worker needs. Guns in the outer worlds are built to be customized and modified with different barrels, scopes, and magazines. You can use these mods to upgrade your gun at a workbench. I don't think I've found any workbenches yet. Halcyon is a bit of Halcyon cluster. Same because Halcyon is the brightest star in the cluster when viewed from Earth. Can you actually see that? When your inhaler finishes off a stack of consumables, it will automatically reload itself with another stack of the same type if available. Cool. What's this? Oh, landing pad. So why don't we fucking land here then? Ludwig, is that one of the men? Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. In case the boss finally came to his sense. Mm. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. What are you babbling about? Are you okay? So you confused, Silas, I mean. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. 
guess this means he's finally heard the calling. I guess. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about... Gotta, gotta watch out. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Mm -hmm. Auto mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I see them over by the old power plant, clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. Same. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Hmm, no join. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. So tuna cans, mostly. Some spacers chaw. A few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. Sure. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. What do you need done? They have sent a scout. Prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Cool, if I'm going to this mechanical scout, pointers, sure. Mechanicals got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square things. That's not technical at all. Go on. Hmm. You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Just looking at you, scanning you with its murderous oculars. Yeah. Right, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure what they're programmed to do. Mechanicals have been programmed to eliminate the human race. They've been programmed to replace us. Fair. First, they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. Sure. Level three, bitches. I'm not going to take this corona because, like, coronavirus... But I will steal this. Okay, keep it quiet. Yeah, keep it quiet, ho. Criminal activities, trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon. Fuck it. Who's gonna say some shit? Workbench. Workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor. Combat ready. Select the weapon or armor you want to work on. What do you want to do? Repair, break it down, modify it, etc. Uh, okay. Wrong button. Like, we out here stealing shit. Because, like, what are they gonna do? Say some shit. Fucking say some shit. Like, I'm scared of you fuckers. I think I'm the companion letter. This companion letter shows you everything you need to know about your companions. You can see your skill stats, satisfaction, and gear. So to see your companion's gear, select the item you want to swap out. Then choose a compatible item. Change how they behave. Distance, aggressiveness, etc. I want you to... I mean, that's fine, I guess. Armor, I haven't fixed that. Oh, wait. Increase your health. Yeah, we'll increase your health. Just kidding. Oh, distance mode aggressive. Yes, weapon. Mix. Dis okay, that's fine, I suppose. But I think I have some skill points. We're going to do dialogue. And we'll do two in tech. And then we'll do two in ranged. We'll apply journal. Boom. We got his money, so we're gonna, I guess, go to my man Silas. What to say, like, can I even, is, there, is it even possible to talk to Silas without? Doing the whole load screen thing? Oh yeah, there is. Oh, that's awesome. From the bottom. Wait. 
Oh, so this is over here. But I bet if I were to went the town route, it would have loaded the whole fucking map. That's ridiculous. Okay, let's talk to Silas. Hey, Miss Par Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Mm-hmm. Things going all right, Silas? No. Been keeping him careful and true, Miss. Mm hmm. Tell her dad. Best to ask her yourself. Okay. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get when I can't leave the house. That's cute. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Oh yeah, I got some things. Who's Eugene? Yeah? What about Who him? the fuck is that? Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. Wow. When I woke up, his body was gone. Spirited away, vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. Cool. Okay. Let me know if you find anything. Sure. You run into any trouble? Mm. That's it? That's that's it? Oh. Okay. Well. Oh, let's let's go get what's her faces and then we'll end it and we'll do like a almost an hour and a half part I guess fuck this whole the transition is a bitch ooh spectrum of vodka glass for every class crouching is useful I'm very stealth improves your accuracy smaller target it does make it hard to watch toss ball matches melee mods can improve swing speed change the damage type make your weapons more durable I'm all for it. How are they making how are they making vodka? Those screen tip could be here. Contact spacer's choice for your affordable marketing options. How do I do that? Plasma weapons use high energy fields to draw and then convert ambient ether into superheat. Dude, I was reading that's fucking disrespectful. Little bitches. Okay. Let's go talk to this Phyllis lady because she obviously has a mission for us. I guess we're gonna go through here. I'm like digging this town operation. Like, okay, she's upstairs. Don't mind me, I'm minding my business. You should mind yours. Where is she? Oh, here she go. Phyllis Granger. You the new worker? Maybe. Whatever. Make it quick, tenderfoot. I'm busy. Oh. I'm here to collect her money. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. He obviously knows you're late. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid oh. the bill. That's kind of you. You had to pay for it. That's kind of you. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative. Which meant me. Shame though. Eugene was a good worker. Are y'all married cousins? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Desk receptionist? I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handgun aren't the most reliable. You can't go wrong with the receptionist desk. Eugene wasn't family. You said closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I oh. never found him, you see, so I pay the fines. What the fuck? Crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Vandalism? <laughs> you can't be serious. What are they gonna do? Arrest this corpse? Vandalism, huh? Did you have to clean bits off him in the wall or something? Like this would be me. You're gonna get to arrest when this corpse? When your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. Nah. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, 
we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. Mm -mm. Look around. Edgewater ain't exactly swimming in luxury. We can't afford to pay the body price of a suicide. How much is it? All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Mm. <laughs> Whatever. I'll go pay motherfucker mother I'll I'll go pay Silas's money. Cause that's what I'm here for. Pay Silas's monies. So we're gonna go do all of that. We're gonna give Silas his monies and then we'll end the part. Right? Yeah, we'll go from there. I'm pretty sure this thing. Oh, what is that? Wrapping on biological. Companions not putting their wear or getting knocked down too often. The gear might not be up to date. Stronger weapons and armor and watch them shine. Sure. Science weapons have weird and, usual and useful effects. They do damage and damage increases. Your science skill improves. Cool. Break down armor weapons. You don't need to give you parts. You need to keep your gear in tip top shape. Good to know. What else? What? What the fuck? Silas is not over here. <laughs> they really be... I guess somehow the game figures this is faster than going the other route. Which it might be as far as load screens are concerned. So I'm not too upset about it, I guess. Because, you know, I don't get stopped by load screens. It was like three of them or so. Alright, Silas. Fancy thread. Kind of hibernation suit. Maybe it is. You run into any trouble? Hmm. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. Cool. He was trying to hide his own illness. Abernathy was sick with the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. It'd be like that. needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? Oh, awkward. But I did go out of my way. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Great. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Thank you. Cool. Awesome. Your patient with the faction has changed. Enemies are hostile, we're trying to if enemies are hostile, but it's not kill in sight, I'm good. Awesome. So it seems, how do I check that um, reputation? No? I guess it doesn't particularly matter. So this is the next thing I need to do. Looking for a book, and it's all the way over there. I'm not going to do the main quests right now, but in the meantime, we're going to do all of these side quests and go from there. I haven't botched anything. Awesome. So anyway, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Let me know if you actually like this game. I'm enjoying it. You know, we did a long part for uh, the first part because why not? Um, hopefully nothing wild happens from here, but you can't be too sure. There are monsters in this game. I like it. I like having to make choices and deciding what my character um, is going to do. It's like, I'm, I'm in a good place, you know? So I appreciate all of you. You know, spam that likes button, subscription button, all the things. Like, share it with all your peoples. I'd appreciate it. Either way, though, like, I'm going to keep playing, but, you know, the likes just make me feel better and should make you feel better. But, yeah, be the best use you can be. Make the best choice you can possibly can. Have a wonderful week, rest of your week. Like, I don't know, we're in 2020. Just do the best you can. That's all I can ask for. But you already know what it is, obviously. I am out this bitch. Peace.